Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to understand dependent sample t-test in JAMA also known as a paired sample t-test. For this I am going to use this data where I am having the data in two columns before and after. Here we are going to compare same respondents before giving the treatment and after giving the treatment. Say for example, your knowledge of Jamovi before watching the these tutorials and after watching these tutorials. And we have ranked you on 1 to 10 scale. So, which test we can run? That is a paired sample t-test or also known as a dependent sample t-test. One thing is to be ensured that the number of observations should remain same. It is very unlikely in comparison to independent sample t-test in which the number of samples can be different. Here, the number should remain same. Why? Because we are capturing two observations of the same respondent. I am repeating again. I am. We are capturing two observations at different time intervals of the same respondent. That is before the treatment and after the treatment. And we want to see that is there any significant difference of treatment on the respondents or not. How we can carry out? We will go in t-test, paired sample t-test, we will transfer before first, then after first. Depending upon your hypothesis, is it equal to, greater than or less than, you will have to activate it. I will keep this as equal to in my study. I will activate mean difference and descriptives. You can simply copy this result from here. I have taken this in the word file. Now what is my research hypothesis? The research hypothesis is Jamovi tutorial videos have increased the employee skill sets of using Jamovi. I will convert this into the statistical hypothesis. There is no significant difference in Jamovi skill sets of employees after watching the tutorial. Alternative, there is a significant difference in Jamovi skill sets of employees after watching the tutorial. Or you can also write null like mu1 is equal to mu2 means before and after is equal alternatively it's not equal which is desirable in this study you will have to see the p value and we'll write the interpretation as the p value of t test this one is 0 0.001 which is less than 5% level of significance so we reject null hypothesis which means that the Jamovi skill sets of employees have changed significantly. The mean of the skill sets after watching the video, uh, sorry, the mean of skill sets before watching the video is 3.4, you can see here, and mean of skill sets after watching the video, after watching the video is 8. So, Jamovi skill sets of employees have increased considerably and significantly. So, this is a way you can carry out the dependent sample t-test in Jamovi. For more videos on Jamovi, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can get more videos on Jamovi. Please don't forget to press the like button.